guys, it's Jenny Fop here, hanging out with my dog Roaches, and I was just thinking about the Fantastic Four. So I actually saw the movie over the weekend, and big shocker, I liked it. What? I actually really did enjoy the movie. Um, part of the reason I'm actually here with my puppy is to soften the blow a little bit, because uh, I know a lot of people did not like the movie. Critics, audience. So I thought it's clobbering time with cuteness. Clobber people with cuteness because my puppy is so cute. So the Fantastic Four is the origin story of the Fantastic Four. Ben Grimm, Reed Richards, Sue Storm, and Johnny Storm all become the Fantastic Four. Basically, now normal people have super crazy powers, stretching powers, the Rock power, so not the smell that's cooking rock, but you know, an actual rock. That's actually kind of too bad. Um, and then, of course, Human Torch literally lights up in fire, which is actually pretty awesome. So that's actually not fair. Other item, though, Sue Storm, who actually turned herself invisible. So that movie sounds like it's set up for success, but... It's been clobbered by the critics. I'm just going to say clobbered the whole time. Uh, part of the reason is they say it's too dark. It's too disjointed. I do think the movie does take a really independent, different perspective of the superhero movie. They don't actually get their powers until about an hour into the movie. The entire premise of the movie is Reed Richards, super smart scientific kid, and his buddy, Ben Grimm, kind of create a uh, matter transporter. It's uh, a device that can transport matter. He gets spotted by Dr. Storm, who brings him to a school to actually build this device with his daughter, Sue Storm, his son, Johnny Storm, and someone named Doom, Victor Doom. Hmm. The great thing about this is you actually really get to know the characters before the superpowers. You actually also get to know Doctor Doom. Uh, what? Victor Doom becomes Doctor Doom? Spoiler! Uh, not that people didn't already figure that out, but you get to kind of learn more about his motivations too and really understand them. Then they actually use the portal and go to that next dimension and that's when the movie changes. Uh, it kind of becomes a sci-fi horror movie, much like The Fly, which I actually really appreciated. It was a totally different twist to the uh, normal superhero movie. And honestly, if I got superpowers the way they got superpowers, probably be pretty horrible. Um, it was awesome, and seeing Doctor Doom use his powers was legitimately the only time I have seen a superhero movie and was like, <gasps> In horror, it was amazing. It was one of my favorite moments in cinema uh, this year. I thought it was really awesome. Again, it's a different take, but just because it's a different take on a superhero movie doesn't mean it's a bad movie. It just means it doesn't match our preconceived notions of a superhero movie, which who knows what that really is. It's not like that genre is like horror or drama where there's a really specific guideline of what it is. Uh, it's a superhero movie, which means it has superheroes. And in the end, the Fantastic Four do become superheroes. So I do feel like it hits that guideline. I think people have been super, super harsh on this movie. Um, and some of the examples uh, is I've read that it's clobbering time. Again, yes, fifth time I've said it. Uh, was used by Ben Grimm's brother before he beat him. Uh, that scene is pretty much just him hitting him on the head, being like, it's clobbering time, flicking his ear. Uh, that's not beating. That's just a big brother being like, hey, little brother. You know, that, that to me was blown way out of proportion. Uh, the wig changes with Sue Storm, um, that people have been claiming that are super, super obvious. Uh, they do that in a lot of movies. Uh, one of my favorites, Pretty in Pink, uh, Andrew McCarthy at the end has a huge wig change. Um, and that movie is still considered a classic. So I think people need to just kind of see it as a movie and not see it as a superhero movie. Because who really knows what that is? I think this movie is getting really unnecessarily attacked. Uh, Josh Trank, the director, 
it is really sad he's divorcing himself with this movie because it did remind me of Chronicle, uh, and which previous movie he did that is a unique take on superheroes. So just think about other movies that you've liked that maybe other people haven't, you know, seen it the same way. And again, open mind. Also, think about my puppy. Think about how cute he is. Look how cute he is. Huh? It's clobbering time with cuteness. Yes, yeah, he's clobbering me with cuteness. Well, I'm Jenny Pop. I will talk to you guys later. Ambrosius says goodbye, and he goes, it's clobbering time. Uh, and again, the movie is not bad.